let's try and put a human face on all of this if we can. Heat and lack of rain have contributed to concerns over water provision in the country. You've heard the minister referring to that. But what we do know is this. Several small towns have already run out. Aid organization Gift of the Givers has visited a number of these small towns organizing boreholes and water delivery. What's really happening? Hydrology expert Gideon Grunewald, good afternoon to you and welcome. You've been to many of these small towns. What's your first-hand experience? First of all, I think we must start with the drought itself. Um, as Gift of the Givers, we must understand that this drought we are involved with this drought since 2013. In 2015, we saw the seriousness increasing, and we are actually in, in a drought that has already lasted for about 20 years in short term, 220 years in longer term, and it's now going in for the worst drought in a thousand years, according to my record. So, so it means that no human being or institution can be blamed for the fact that the dams are dry and the rivers are drying. This is part of a natural drying cycle, which is a global cycle. Worst drought in a thousand years? According to my research, which is 40 years of measuring mountains in the Karoo in 10 centimeter intervals, finding remains of animals, yes, it's getting really, really serious at the moment. So no one to blame, but surely those in charge of the water supply are maybe waking up a little bit too late. If we've known about this, we're only getting the implementation of a so-called master plan in November. Surely we needed this years ago. From, you know, purely from a gift of the givers point of view, we must understand that gift of the givers can be equated to you getting an heart attack and you call in a doctor. The doctor moves in and immediately treats you and just relieves the immediate disaster. Then give you to the hospital and then pulls back and goes to the next client. So gift of the givers is the short term move in to relieve immediately. Now, in terms of this drought, why I'm saying nobody can be blamed for the dry dams is we can't blame any institution, historically or present. What I appreciate and what gives the givers appreciate is the fact that the national government and the minister has called us for help. The patient now has the heart attack. They're not responsible for the fact that the patient got a heart attack. Nobody alive today could foresee that this drought will be as bad as it is. Everybody could predict a drought. Now, you, you must remember that in South Africa we have summer rainfall and winter rainfall. So there's a prediction that the end of the, of the dry season in winter, you'll get rain in the summer season. So the short-term things were expected. The problem that we have is the longer-term 220-year cycle where... People who weren't scientists, who weren't archaeologists, couldn't read the 220-year cycle that's busy reaching, coming to its end now. So, so I appreciate, and give that the givers appreciate the fact that the entire machine of government from local level to national level is actually calling for help now. Let's extend your heart attack metaphor if we can then. All very well to identify the heart attack, to triage it as you're suggesting, but we're not taking the right medication because this is what the minister says. Consumption, particularly over the past two weeks, has increased a huge jump to 320 liters per person per day. The average around the world is 170 liters per person, to, uh, per, 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 person per day. As, as patients here, we, we're just ignoring good advice. The, the fact, I think, what, the fact that what really encourages me is this discussion today. This discussion is proof of the fact that people are now waking up and say, people, you can't just fill your swimming pools this summer. You can't keep on spraying water on your lawns this summer. Let's see what the weather is going to do by the end of December before we carry on as usual, because it is not business as usual any longer. But, Mr. Grunewald, many of those patients um, are already going to die anyway, and you've seen firsthand in some of those small towns where people are now desperate, surely. 
Yeah, and, you know, in Sutherland, for instance, out of 450,000 ewes that were supposed to give us our next group of sheep to give us wool, to give us meat, we've only got 30,000 left. 420,000 sheep has died of this drought. Can't we see that it is not a disaster coming? We are living in the disaster. This is exactly what Gift of the Givers is there for. We are disaster managers. So by being called in, we are being called in at the right time to see what can we do to relieve the country, to relieve the national government, local government from doing something immediately. And that is what I appreciate is the intensive cooperation from national level right down to ground level to try and see what can we do to get this heart attack sorted so that we can give the patient back to the hospital for further treatment. Gideon Grunewald, thank you very much indeed from the gift of the givers.